Supernova Week continues here on Trekzone today. It's a Trekzone conversation. The man behind me signing plenty of autographs and meeting up with fans for the first time in a year. Supernova's back. It's Supernova Week. Mr. Stuart McKenney, prolific Australian comic book illustrator, is my guest on the other side of this. On Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts and YouTube for over 550 episodes. This is a Trek Zone Conversation. Stuart McKinney, thank you for a little bit of your time. It's the end of day one of Supernova. What's it like to get back to conventions? Absolutely fantastic. It's just exciting. It's it's so it's been so touch and go with COVID and everything, the world shutting down. It's just so exciting that it's it's happening again. It's great to be back. And it was a year off for you. I've been chatting with your lovely wife uh, off air about what it's been like for you to, to be off for a year out of these conventions. You know, you work from home, even working stopped for you for a little while as well. 2020, how did you survive? It was tough. It was tough. I mean, it was scary. It was a lot of the, the comic book industry to, you know, at the beginning actually shut down quite a bit because of the print, they didn't actually have people, or weren't able to go in and print. At the printers, so there was a lot of not a lot of tiles that didn't come out, so it was kind of scary. Um, but yeah, you just persevere and get through, and yeah, and it's it's good that it's finally over, and there's a lot more books coming out now, and it's exciting. Yeah. Now Brisbane went into a bit of a lockdown a couple of weeks ago, as a snap lockdown with a couple of cases potentially out there in the community, and, and talking with Wendy. Um, about all of that and how it was really uncertain uh, for you with with your work that you bring to um, to sell and autograph, yeah. uh, and there were some projects or a couple of drawings, uh, WandaVision especially that um, that almost didn't make it, but it did. Um, what? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I I like to draw pop culture material, especially stuff that uh, people request. I mean, that's one of the, the the highlights of coming to a show is to interact with people and hear their passions, what they love watching. And so um, with everything up in the air, it was kind of like whether the show's gonna go ahead, what, what's not gonna happen. Um, and obviously too, with, with COVID, a lot of production shut down as well. So there was a lot of stuff, amazing stuff, which just didn't come out. And they eventually released Wonder Woman 84. Um, and we're still waiting on Black Widow which I cannot wait to see, it looks amazing. Um, so yeah, there wasn't a lot of stuff coming out, so I wasn't quite sure what to do to, to bring to the show. And so then they brought out a couple of great productions like WandaVision, and I could not pass up on, on doing that. And I had a lot of really cool people, kind people just requesting that character, so I couldn't say no. And what's it been like for you uh, as these people have come back uh, watching you for the last hour as people have come along to buy your prints and get autographs and you chat with them. A lot of these people you know, and when you were saying that um, a lot of these people follow you around the country to these conventions, what's that like to get, the, to, to, get to see those people again? I'm very thankful they put up with me, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I talk too much. I talk way too much. Um, I live at home. I don't get out much. So I tend to, um, when I come to these events, I probably over talk a little bit um, and very people are very patient with me which is lovely and I just get and I just chat to them and they share their passions and you know working from home it is isolating so it's kind of really great to reconnect with people and hear that they're digging the same things that you know that I, I enjoy and Wendy enjoys and yeah it's great it's fun well look I'm gonna let you go because it is the end of day one but uh, just lastly uh Chat to us about your upcoming work. There's a DC series on the horizon for you. And my notes tell me something, but it is Wendy is off in the background telling me no. And I am quickly loading up my research. Is it Super Friends? No, no. It's uh, I, I... Wikipedia needs updating. It does. Oh, I haven't, I haven't checked Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so maybe, yes, maybe. <laughs> it says here... You think too bad. I hope so. <laughs> It says you're currently working for DC on the new children's title, Super Friends. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it needs a little update, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> so tell us about Super Friends. Have you got anything else coming up as well? Well, um... Oops. Ooh, it's, it's, no, no, not at all. Not at all. So I don't know what happens with the Wikipedia. I have no control over over that. So, um, But, yeah, no, we have, I have an exclusive coming up after these shows. So can't say too much about it at the moment. 
but uh, just keep an eye out. I'm pretty excited about it. Fantastic. Stuart McKinney, as the final PA announcement happens, really appreciate your time. You go and uh, get some sleep because it has been a massive day for you and you've got to back it up again tomorrow. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for your time too. Thanks. And Keep up to date with Twitter. Catch new podcasts daily on YouTube. Plus, we're beaming to your favourite podcast app five days a week. Just search for Trek Zone and subscribe.